February 6th, 1997. I accepted the job as front desk secretary for White Umbrella. I'm very excited to move up in the company and to a nice pay upgrade. I will greet people at the door and be in charge of check-ins when they arrive. Looking forward to the new lifestyle my new job will afford me. February 9th. My first day at the job went off without a hitch, I guess. I'm to stay several days a week inside an underground place where labs are located. I check people in. After that, I just sit there. The job is boring, but at least it pays good. Shouldn't complain. February 11th. One of the workers I checked in brought in something very disturbing this morning. It was a wretched smell, and when I asked him what it was, he told me it was human poop. The look on his face when he told me they were working on dozens of projects down there in the labs scared and disgusted me. What the hell could they use human shit for? The better question is, why would they need human shit? February 13th. From my room last night, I overheard excited laughter. Those people never sleep, even at night. The day is fast approaching that I can go home for a couple of days, and I can't wait. Rest, quiet, and relaxation await me there. I still can't get that poop out of my mind. What the hell are those people working on down there? February 14th. A director came to the labs today and told me that I had to stay for a little while longer at the labs. When I asked the director why, he told me that something was coming up and not to worry about it. I then noticed some of the lab workers talking and one of them looked in my direction with a pleased expression. That frightened me and without another word I went to my room. What is so important that I have to stay for something that has nothing to do with me? I'm just a damn secretary. February 16th. I'm glad I took up hacking as a hobby when I was younger, and it allowed me to find out what their next project is. I am to be their next test subject within a couple of days. That was why they had me remain here. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to make my escape. I should have turned down the job, but at the time, the pay was too good. Tomorrow has to be the day, or I'm dead. I have to leave here when everyone is asleep, and I've turned off all the cameras at 8.30. I pray I'm successful. <laughs>